Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Akinio Image Gallery module. This module is going to allow the admin to add and manage images into various galleries and galleries into various groups according to the requirements. The admin can easily manage photo gallery and gallery groups on their side. In this module, everything is configured by admin. So this is a admin driven module. So this module is going to allow the admin to create a media gallery with multiple images, title, description and assign groups to it now admin can create group which will be used in media gallery admin can also import and export media gallery admin can create a media gallery attribute and use it in the product family admin can also redesign the images with the UI tool so before we dive further into the workflow of the module please subscribe to our channel and yes do not forget to press the bell icon so that you do not miss any update or notification from our channel so now let's quickly jump into the workflow of the module so this is the admin panel of the module and uh, after the successful installation of the module in Akinio, uh, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to create the gallery group attribute. So for that, you need to navigate to settings, attribute, and then you need to click on this create attribute button which you are seeing on the top right corner. So once you click on this button, uh, you need to select the web cool media gallery that is Akinio image gallery. So once I click on the attribute you we have we will be directed to a page where you have to fill up certain details so so in order to create the attribute I am just giving it a code that is gallery 3 and uh, I'm assigning it to a group let's uh, assign it to the media after that I can just save this attribute from the button that you can see on the top right corner so i'll be just clicking on this save button and this attribute is saved so for creating product in akinio you have to choose the family so you can assign the asset group attribute in a product family so uh, to assign this uh, attribute into the product family i'll go to the settings family so clear now from here i can just find the family clothing and uh, i will click on this attributes and now here you can see that there's option to add attribute so i will just searching my attribute that just i have created right now so gallery 3 here you can see it so i will just select it and i will click on add after that i'll be checking up these boxes i'll be finding out this attribute and then i'll be checking up these boxes here so after that i just need to click on this save button and then the next thing that we need to do is we need to create the gallery in akinio so after the installation of this module in Akinio, you will find the Akinio Media Gallery icon here that is Akinio Image Gallery. So I'll be just clicking on this. Now here you can see the list of all those galleries which have been created. So now I want to create a new gallery. So after that, I need to click on this, uh, uh, you know, uh, this add group icon and then add gallery. So I'll be clicking on this uh, add group button and clicking on the add group button. I'll be able to create a new group so I will click on add group and now here I need to give it a code so let's call it group 3 after that I have created the group now I want to create the gallery so I have to create the gallery I will click on this add gallery button and uh, I need to give it a name so I'll just give it a code images underscore gallery 3 now clicking on the save button the gallery management page will be open and here you can upload the media so now here you can see the option drag and drop to upload or click here so I'll be just clicking here and I'll be selecting multiple images that I want to add in the gallery that I have created. 
so I'm just selecting my images now here you can see that all images that I have selected they have been added to the gallery after that I can I need to save this uh, images into this media so for that I need to click on the save button that you are seeing on the top right corner so I'll be just clicking on this save button and now from here I can select any images to edit so you know after uploading the media you can edit the asset with media gallery module so in that you can select the images thumbnail images as well as you can add a description for each image so any description that you want to add you can add it here and uh, you can also edit the image from here you can preview the image and now I need to click on the save to save the changes that I have made to this image now after clicking on this uh, save button this uh, changes in the images will be saved and this media gallery have been saved now so after that i will just click on this akinio image gallery now here you can see that the newly created gallery has been added to the list so from here you can also delete and edit the image gallery that you have created so in the akinio media gallery module you can filter the gallery with the created ad updated ad favorites description and groups so now filter with created time so uh, for that uh, you know you will just click here and you will just click on this drop down button you will find some operators so like between you can filter the asset that you have created between two dates not between um, can filter the asset that you have not created between two dates more than you can filter the asset after the selected date less than you can filter the asset before the selected date similarly uh, with this updated time so you will just click on that and you will click on this uh, uh, drop down button in the right hand side and you will find some operators so similarly you will find between uh, there you can filter the asset that you have updated between two dates now similarly you will find here that uh, not between there you can filter the asset you have not updated between two dates now the more than is like same more you can filter the asset for the selected date and similarly for the list and now clicking on this favorite filter so from here you can you know filter all the favorites and not start products clicking on yes you can filter all favorite products and no you can filter not favorite products now there is filter with description so you will click on this drop down button on the right hand side that says contents so what it contains is the first is the the product description contains the text enter by you does not contain means the product description does not contain text entered by you is equal to the product description is equal to the text entered by you starts with the product description starts with the text entered by you is empty the product description is empty so by that you can filter the gallery now uh, another is group so you can filter the asset with gallery module and all the groups will be visible after clinic clicking on this uh, group icon so now here you can see that all the groups uh, which have already been there are visible so now after that the next thing that we need to do is uh, you know assign media gallery in Akinio product so to create a product in Akinio we need to navigate to the products and then we will click on this uh, create product button that is you can see on the top right corner so uh, clicking uh, now here I have to choose the product or product model I have chosen the product so there I need to provide SKU for the product so I'm just writing it uh, uh, suit one now I have to select a family so I'm just searching clothing so once I found this clothing so I have just say and I'll save this now after that you need to fill up certain details about the product so here I'll be filling up those details so for the name I'm just giving it a name slim suit now I need to I need to give it a collection name so I'm just selecting any random collection here now you can also give it a description here whatever description that you want to give to your give to your product so you can just write it there and uh, 
now i am just writing the description for this product that is three piece slim suit in all sizes now after that i'll just scroll it down and i can also if i want i can give it a variant name that is color and then i'll just scroll it down and uh, there you can also select the color for your product so i'm just selecting black and then in size i'm selecting any random size that is and then you will scroll it down now here in the media option you will find this add update medias so what you need to do is you just need to click on this add update medias button and once you click on this add update medias button so after clicking on this you need to confirm you need to select the gallery image so we have just created this image gallery 3 so i'm just selecting it and after that i need to click on this confirm button so let me click to the confirm button now here you can see that all the images that i have added to the gallery 3 so now i have added this gallery 3 to the product so all those images have been added to this we have successfully added images into the gallery and then gallery to this product that we are that uh, we are seeing it here so after this this is all that we needed to do uh, into the media gallery images to add the images into the gallery and then gallery to the product after that we need to just save this so i'll be clicking on this uh, save button and uh, after that so after that i just want to import and export assets from this akinu media gallery so for that i'll be clicking on exports and uh, i need to create export job profile so we can export asset from a key new media gallery extension so i'm clicking on this create export profile now there i need to fill up certain values so i'll be just giving it a code so let me give it a code so i'm, I'm just writing csv underscore gallery three underscore and uh, expo so after that i need to give it a level so for that i'm just giving a giving it a level like csv gallery 3 export and after that i will select job type to create a new job profile so i have selected a key new image gallery csv export and then i need to click on the save button now after that i need to click on the save button again there that you can see on the top right corner and after that i i will click on this export now button to run the to run the job export after running the export job there there will be an option that you can see is uh, you know either we can you know download the generated file so i will click on this download generated files now there we uh, there we have two options that either we can generate a file or zip so i have just clicked on generate a file and now here you can see that the file is being downloaded so let me open it so i open it up for you so here here is the csv that we have import exported now the next thing that I want to do is to create a new import job profile to create to you know import the Akinio Media Gallery assets. So for that I have clicked on imports. Now I will click on create import profile. After that similarly as we have done for the export we have to provide a code level and we need to select the job type. So I am just giving it a code csv underscore gallery 3 uh, underscore import. Now I am giving it a level. and csv gallery import and uh, after that again i need to select a job profile so for that i'm a key new image gallery csv import so i have selected this and i will click on the save button after that now here we have two options one is import now another is upload a file so in the import now in this you can enter the file path to import the asset and uh, 
on the upload of file so in this uh, you can drag the file to import the asset so I have just clicked on that and uh, I'm just selecting one CSV file and and I will just click on upload and import now so after clicking on upload and import now after uploading and running the export job uh, import job you can check the execution details here so this is all about Akinio Media Gallery module so I really hope that this video helped you in understanding the workflow of the module if you still have any query doubt suggestion please get back to us at support at the rate webcool.com you can also raise a ticket at uvdesk.webcool.com thanks for watching the video goodbye